Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video it's a photo shoot video and we are here with Simona again. Hello everyone. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> yeah, and we're back in the same location as the shoot, well, some shoots before, where we were also here in the freezing water. It's even more freezing today because we're in December now, actually, and... A month later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and today we have another concept which involves being, well, possibly on it, um, not slipping down, but um, yeah, let's see how that goes. So for this shoot, I decided to pick the white outfit simply because I think it would be a nice contrast with the background. So the time period we're actually photographing is around blue hour, actually already after sunset. So I think that the white dress would actually stand out from the background, which is slowly rendering into darkness. And hopefully before the sky hit pitch black, the city light or the street light will actually turn on. In my opinion, that would make it a really, really nice and dreamy kind of look for the image. And before we can actually put the model onto the water, let's actually inflate our air mattress. So now the moment of truth. To be honest, the air didn't really fully pump into the air mattress. For some reason, the air pump wasn't really strong enough to really fully fill the air inside. So we were a little bit nervous, but since we were running out of time, we decided to why not cover the air mattress with the white sheet and just see how well it floats and how well it actually holds the weight of our model. The pond is luckily not that deep to begin with, but I'm not sure how deep it is actually in the center. And to be honest, we didn't have enough time to plan a proper uh, rope to tie to the mattress or anything to hold on in case it drifts away. So yeah, let's see. So the concept of this photo shoot essentially is to have an air mattress floating with the white sheet cover and the model wearing a white dress. Yeah. Originally I wanted to have the prop as a book or the lantern but they didn't arrive on time, <laughs> well the lantern didn't and the book, I thought it might be a little bit too risky for the first trial so I decided to actually use the colored smoke bomb. And uh, let's see how it will turn out. Ooh. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah. Move it along. So for this shoot, I decided to only use the 85mm f1.2. This is simply because the 70 to 200 f2.8 would be too dark because that f2.8 for this hour is just simply impossible to photograph and if i were to zoom in it would just compress the background way too much and shooting at this hour even iso 6400 will not be bright enough or sensitive enough to use f2.8 and using f1.2 it just gives me a really 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 nice separation between the model and the background yet still knowing the environment that the model is in and telling that story on the other hand i don't have to use as high iso just to get like a decent shot with fast enough shutter speed to sort of freeze the model in action and at the end of the day it is still a really really nice lens to use that will give you really really dreamy results as well as very very little pin cushion or distortion to the lens so yeah it's actually really nice that because now it's actually creating a bit of mist I don't see the tube, don't worry. I see the whole reflection of you as well. On water, it's so cool. Only if you have like a violin with you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is so cool. I wish you're seeing what I'm seeing. Just, just keep on posing like you're in out there in the middle of wildness, wilderness. The boat is going, uh, the bed is going to the different direction than I want it. Um, I'll get in. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're almost there. You're really almost there. <laughs> this is the deepest I can go. Not because I can't go any deeper, but my leg actually is cramming. Hold on tight. Just hold on tight. Oh, my leg. My leg. It suddenly goes really high and I slipped. My phone is also not waterproof. <laughs> Should be more sturdy now. Oh my god, you're such a good model. <laughs> you're brave. the end of the shoot it's pretty much like the shortest shoot that I've ever had what about you <laughs> same same <laughs> we were we like in water the light a bit, but uh, yeah <laughs> I think I hope we still got some nice photos it was a nice experience too maybe we do it again another time yeah definitely hoping to do it again when it's much warmer because yeah it's the water was really cold I'm not sure when the battery went out I hope the battery went out after I was already in the water but otherwise I can tell you now that it was really really cold but even if we don't get any like um, super expected images that we were expecting um, I think the experience was really really good alone yeah. so yeah it was really well worth it so yeah um, her Long Instagram time. is on the display yeah yeah, no. <laughs> follow him, subscribe, comment under this video and now it's time for us to go home and drink some hot tea yeah, <laughs> and warm up. yeah her Instagram is also on the uh, display here and yeah if you need a free photography guidebook it's linked down in the description below it's absolutely for free no need to subscribe to newsletters or anything just click and download otherwise thank you very very much for watching stay safe have fun shooting bye bye